Hello everyone, I am Asif Ali and watching Sijao video. In last video, we have seen how to create the mesh render mesh particle in Niagara. And in this tutorial, we will see our beam particle, how to make a beam particle in Niagara. First of all, subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So for the beam, I will right click here, I will go to FX, I will do emitter and I will take a beam, static beam template here, call it just beam or beam emitter and just make it just open it you can see this beam and i will just make it a uh, system so i can place it here and call it so this is the beam and viewport and for beam you have you will see in render you have this ribbon render because in Niagara you don't have separate beam render you have ribbon that used for ribbon and beam both so we have checked sprite we have checked mesh we have checked lights now the ribbon in this tutorial we will show how we will see how to use it as a beam and in next video we will use it as a ribbon so in this one I'm using this template and here I'm using this ribbon render with this material and here you have beam setup settings so this is the difference you take a beam setup setting here to make it to treat it as beam so in beam and in ribbon there is some there is one difference ribbon has a tip that is connected with the particle and following in beam you have independent start and end so you can connect start and end anywhere you want to connect okay so you have this line and this is th uh, thing from the back because it has this curve so if i just delete these points you can see this is straight line now okay so first you have to take this ribbon render here use your material from starting life circle same as you want then you have to take this beam emitter setup if you are making it from scratch if you are taking this template it will be here and then it's bursting particles and red particles and particles means this count is segments of this beam i will show you how then you have spawn beam emitter uh, module then beam width you can increase or decrease it here if you stop you can see okay then this is life and this is color and that's it no more images if you want to make some effect with this beam you can make a lightning or a beam effect shooting effect laser effect in this tutorial i will make a lightning effect of this so first in beam setup you can see this start is uh, absolute beam start and beam end has some values so you can change the value you can move it up or down if you want to add the start value also you can just make it local so you have values so you can also in you can also move the start this off. see this has moved if i make it zero it's on zero i want to make move it up so i can just give some values here it moving up I will make this zero you can see this this is going up make it zero so you can change things here 
Now second thing is I want the arc because this is straight. So for this you can use this use beam tangents. You can see this arc and the tangent values for end is here and for start you can again reset it and there will be a vector so you can just adjust your arc so this is the value how much up or down so this is an arc and now you want to move it like a lightning so for this you can apply lots of things if you take velocity just try velocity add velocity and you should play and just make it 100 you can see it's going up because it's just moving the whole beam if you make it random like 50 minus 50 it's moving randomly but it's just going and not stopping so it's not looks like uh, lightning so velocity is not the way to make light so I will delete it then we will try curl noise just move it here up and curl noise increase the settings increase the strength this will again working like velocity just distorting it and not returning back so it's also not for the lightning but it will move it so for lightning you can use this jitter position so it's just jittering the position per frame and these are the settings you can just delay zero the delay and you can increase the amount so it's now moving and just moving back so now it's working like that but it's not looking like uh, lightning but we will make it so now I will just I will put three points here and make it zero at zero make it point one and one make it one and zero so it will look like this and now in jitter I will make like five and you can see there's lots of segments here because I I told you in the starting uh, the spawn rate is the segment so if I decrease this you can see the less segments the less movements and now you can increase the jitter uh, maybe 10 it's moving like lightly and now you can and decrease the life because li uh, life because light has very short life I make it point 0.1 but you have to make the duration point 0.1 also so it's moving now I can now increase the jitter so it's moving like lightning a bit but you can play more with this so in viewport it looks like this and you can just decrease the width like 20 or 15 and you can increase the color maybe a bit more okay and because this is straight and this is single you have to randomize things that's why it's not looking proper like but we will randomize things and to randomize things what we can do first I want to show you something I have this emitter this is fountain emitter and the values of this emitter I can control from here like anything like spawn rate but if you want to control this value here in viewport or in blueprint what you have to do any value that you want to control through user or blueprint you can just make it user parameter so now it's gone from here because this parameter is now connected to user parameter that will reflect here in user parameter and if you select it here you can now see spawn rate you can increase or decrease particles from directly here 
okay so now we will make some values of this lightning user parameter so we can control and randomize things and we will i will also show you how to connect those values with blueprint so now you have this lightning i will tweak some values like uh, spawn rate maybe 10 30 50 30 and i want to spawn it randomly on random position so what i will do this beam settings i will make a start on zero and i want and randomize so i will make it user parameter so now i'll save it now if i select my lightning it has this end and i can control it you can see okay so i i, I can control this now i will connect it with blueprint and randomize it every frame so i will go to blueprint and on tick because i want randomized lighting on every frame and i will take a reference of emitter just select in viewport and take a reference then i want niagara vector variable vector 3 so you will have this set niagara variable you have to mention the name so in your emitter that you have made a user beam you can type this name or you can copy this name from here just click and copy and just paste it here so you have your variable here now connect the tick and you have to randomize these values so if i make it split this and use a random range float and maybe make 200 or 500 minus 500 and i'll just take three to make it more randomized and just save so if i hit play you can see the value is randomized okay so now i will increase spawn rate here not so much maybe like this is randomizing so i can just duplicate this two or three times and take these two emitter also here and connect it with this so three emitters has different positions so it will look like this so i can increase values more like minus thousand and thousand so it's more random now it's not looking very good so i want random curve also so for this in your emitter it has these curves these tangents from start and from end i will make both user so now you have your start and end user parameter i will just copy i will copy this module and just change the name copy it correctly copy paste and now you can connect this here and for tangent because tangent goes from 0 to 1 you have to take value 
minus 1 and 1 just connect you can connect one from all these three but I want more randomness for each so I will just duplicate it three times and now you will see this will have random curves every frame but all three have same curves I want different curve from all three so for that you will have to duplicate these three times there is lots of other way also but for this I am just showing you how these work and this second lightning will be connect here and this third lightning will be connect here and just connect the execution and take this value also save now you will notice all the lightning have different arcs different positions okay but the arcs are not much so i can increase the value minus 5 5 minus 5 5 minus 5 5 Now the arc will be more roundish, you can see. And you can also add lights in this. So just connect the light and increase the radius, maybe 20. 20 is not much, so just first increase the color like 5, 2000 or 5000. And decrease the alpha by point five and zero so you can see now light as lighting as lights and I also want to change this one zero value and tip so you can make this type of lightning effect with this Niagara beam so this is it for now I hope you like this and if you have any questions comment below the video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and in next tutorial we will see the ribbons actually how to make trails of particles with ribbons and for that we will also use a location event in that so thank you for watching this bye bye